I'm back. Had to, had to regroup a minute. Had to have some more coffee. I did a little chit chat video, y'all. Let's see. Wait. last night but I've got some other videos coming out and I realized I'm not done with the Dollar Tree so I thought for fun you know we've been talking in the last video about illness and trying to get better and we need our support systems and all that I thought this would be kind of just like a little fun video because it's all on me spot can I just say that? It's all on this fault. We went to the Dollar Tree when we went to visit Omi. One thing never made it in the hall. Can I just say this is a junk food hall? And you may rename it after you see what I did. But, um, jelly bean cotton candy. Love cotton candy. Have to try it. <laughs> Eli and I shared this cotton candy last week. That they've got different kinds. I'm not going to say this was one of my most favorite. I love tangy. But it was good. And it says it has two and a half servings. Or two and a quarter servings. Eli and I shared half and half. So if y'all find that, it's out for Easter time. A lot of this stuff I'm going to show you is out for Easter time. What cracked me up after I got done with my last, what I thought was my final Dollar Tree video before I make it back one of these days. I had a big old bag I didn't even show you. Now I know why it was still in the bag. I've got to, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? <laughs> Deal it out sparingly. Deal it out sparingly. I got some sweet tart jelly beans. And I put them <laughs> in this jar because it was handy. Yeah, Angie's done been into the sweet tart jelly beans. They're good. Look how vibrant. They're for Easter. I'll turn around this way so you won't have to get confused. And chewy and tangy. Yeah, chewy and tangy. I like to eat one of these when I'm trying to drink water because it kind of gives the water a flavor without adding flavor. I'm not one too much into adding a lot of flavors in my water. If I'm going to drink water, I'd rather have a peppermint in my mouth or... Even one of these, I'll chew it a little bit, and then I'll start drinking, and the water tastes refreshed, and I'll chew a little bit more, and the water tastes refreshed. Does it, do any of y'all do that? So this may be one way of getting me to drink more water. Told you we like cotton candy. I had the Pete's marshmallow-flavored cotton candy. We've not had it yet. I've got a container over here. I'm putting all these snacks because I got to put them up. Excuse me. No, I've not been eating any. Not so much putting them up uh, for me, La. Putting them up for me because it's one serving of cotton candy, the peeps. Marshmallow flavored. We'll find out. May end, well, it won't be the next few videos because I've done got them recorded, but. Next few videos I decide to record, I may have to let you know how they taste. Or I may have to do a separate video. But I know I'm going to enjoy it, and I know Eli will. Another one. Pete's Cotton Candy. Marshmallow flavored. Same candy. Get it out of the container again. As this one, just a different color. Just a different color. One serving. And it is how many ounces? Two ounces two ounces and 
I probably ought to keep this container because if I open it and I'm the only one munching on it at the time, I could put it in this container. I was going to see if it tells you how. There was like a little over two ounces in this one because two and a quarter serve, two and two quarter ounces in this one. So I'm going to use that as a thing. Yeah. Can you tell what I'm dropping? Jelly bean. This is probably one of the better values because you get more in it. There's 10 ounces of jelly beans. And I, looking to see, I don't think it has mine and Eli's licorice in it. It's Coastal Bay. It looks like all kind of fruits. Nine servings in this one. There's nine servings in this jelly bean. It looks like all kind of fruit flavor. And they're good till January 31st to 24. No rush for Angie to eat them or for Eli to eat them. Kenny won't eat them. So I got one of those. Or I don't think he will. I don't ever remember him eating jelly beans. Got some Kool-Aid jelly beans. Five fruity flavors, four ounces. Like I said, that one was a better value. But you're not going to get the same taste in these as you do these. And I'm splurging. Kool-Aid jelly beans. Had to get one. Five fruity flavors. Tropical punch, cherry, strawberry, grape, and orange. I know the going thing is gummies. Give Angie a jelly bean anytime. And I'm happy. And I think in a couple of these I've had before, I don't know if this year or last year, because I'm wanting to think I've had Fruit Loop jelly beans at one time. They're just three and a half ounces. I love Fruit Loops. I remember uh, Omi and my dad went to Germany, I think when I was about 10 years old, and they took my younger brother. And we stayed with a couple from church because we had school and things to do. Plus, they couldn't afford to take all of us at one time because there was four kids in the family. And we loved staying with the sessions because they they were, uh, Neil was a pharmacist and we got to go help out in the drugstore and they'd give us treats and yeah, we just felt, you know, big time. But I was sick one day and got to stay home, and they had Fruit Loops, and I think I ate Fruit Loops all day long. It's weird what you can remember. Love the Fruit Loops cereal. I'm sure the jelly beans are good. Yep, if you seen my walkthrough, you would have seen all these. Warheads. It says it's new. Four ounces blue raspberry sour jelly beans. I know this is going to be hit with Eli. I know it's going to be hit with me because I love anything when it's blue raspberry and it has a tang to it. He doesn't know I have all these. How does he not know I have all these? Because we went, we all went together, including the Dollar Tree. But I think the boys might have stayed in the car. I think the boys stayed in the car. Yeah. They, they didn't want to run around with us. I think that's how it happened. Because they were with us. But I got one of those. I remember the now and laters. Because as a kid, we would collect Coke bottles. And you'd get, uh, could trade it in. Like when I was in the first grade, you could trade it into the school store. And you could get candy. Well, I always would get like the now or laters. I think that's what they were called in the little four pack. Because they would last longer. I would get hard candy. I would get now or laters. I would get sweet tarts. Anything with my soda bottles that would last the longest. So this one is four ounces. It has apple, cherry, strawberry, watermelon, grape, and banana. Can you just say this is a jelly bean haul? Got one of those. Are we almost done with the jelly beans? I don't know. Starburst jelly beans. The original. Four and a half ounces. Cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, green apple, and grape. They were loaded down with jelly beans that day. And 
I couldn't pass none of them up. I think I got one of each of them. I think. Might have missed one, but I think I didn't. Omi was just laughing. She thought it was funny. <laughs> she don't think it's funny when she sees this because she may have forgotten a lot of what I got. No, I'm not done with the jelly beans. Jello jelly beans. I don't think I've ever had these. Lime, cherry, blue, berry blue, strawberry, and orange. Jello, four ounces. Jelly bean time. I thought once about opening them all up and put them in a container and just every day be a, uh, what am I going to get today? And I may do that. Then again, I may ought to put them up. Because I will continue eating them. This might be the last of the candies. I was good. I got one. I love Junior Mints. I love the Junior Mint eggs. Um, one of my favorite candies from Easter has always been like the malted, uh, malted eggs, like the you know, the malt balls, only they're egg-shaped. One of my most favorite Easter candies, but this is another one. So, I got just one. I'm trying to be good. It says it's three and a half servings. That be the case, this whole box is a half a day of my calories. <laughs> so, I always share the wealth. Got one of those. And... I've got some craisins here, but since they had the four and a half ounce bag, I thought I'd get one more. It's good for salads, bacon, and recipes, which is true. It actually gives you an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie recipe. I may have to try that. So I got just one of those. A little healthier than all that. I almost opened these last night, and I thought, no, I can't do that. Got to be good. We still had some pie, which you'll see in a video that I did for Kenny's birthday. Well, you'll see a picture of it. And uh, what else? And I still have yogurt. So I tried to, I decided on the yogurt last night. I'm saving the pie for the boys. But these are so good. These are the mini marshmallow cookies, five ounces. They're small. I put them on a plate and stick them in the microwave till the marshmallow blows up and the chocolate kind of melts around it and eat it with a fork and a cup of coffee. And I could taste it last night. But I got a little chocolate fix. I took my Greek yogurt, which I only had a little bit of the Greek yogurt left and took some of the uh, chocolate Rice Krispie cereal. Wasn't, I don't remember if that was a uh, name brand chocolate Rice Krispie or if it was a generic, but it was full-size box. And Eli doesn't care too much for it. He's not a big cereal eater, but I sprinkled a little bit of it on my yogurt and I had a chocolate yogurt with some crunch. So I saved these. For now, they may not last long. These are good. Like I said, though, they're the smaller ones. Um, I remember, uh, yeah, I remember something I got into another night, and it's over there. I'll show you. But these are good anytime you can find them. They've always been fresh. As I was going to check out, I thought I need maybe a couple of these to keep in the car, and I didn't keep them in the car. I brought them in. But they make a good snack. It's one package, 60 calories. But say I'm out and about, and I get kind of weak. If I have a snack in the car like this, or I've showed my olives before, um, you can get other things that like the crackers with the chicken salad. I don't usually get the tuna salad one because I'm not a big tuna fan, even though I am going to try to make a tuna salad sandwich at some point because I have tuna in the cabinet. Omi better get back because she makes the best tuna salad, but I bought two of these because I figured Eli and I both would enjoy it and with it just being one serving, 
who knows, we could share one and then we got one for a backup if we didn't have enough. So I got two of those. One thing I didn't show, let me see. I don't think I showed this in the last tile. Uh, it's worth showing again. Eli, when he went with me one day, bought four of these. He bought two that had the chicken and the mac, and two that had the fries. And uh, he'd have them while he was on spring break. So if he gets kind of hungry before we are or something, he always has something like this to fall back on, and he actually knows how to fix himself, but he'll say, Mama. <laughs> of course, Mama does it. I did get one box of the Sure Fresh freezer bags because I'm fixing to have to put a few things up so they won't spoil, and I wanted to make sure I had enough freezer bags to do it with and for a dollar and a quarter, heavy duty, I don't believe is a bad buy. Ooh. Ha! These may not have been in the bag, but I'm sure you're going to want to see them. No, and they're not jelly beans. But they're Fruit Loop cereal straws, five count. I think I'll hang on to these and see if Eli wants to try these tonight. He doesn't know about them. It's, uh, let me see what it says here. One serving. So the whole container is one serving. But Mama's going to cut them in half. Looks like maybe I could. Looks like, feels like they're already in half unless I broke them. And we can share these, share the wealth, and try them out. I've never had them. So I'm going to keep these out on the table. Sour popping candy. Four pack, green apple, watermelon, blueberry, raspberry. Three fruity flavors. So I wonder which one has the same. Hope it's the blue raspberry because Eli and I might fight over that one. I thought they'd be a good snack. One serving per little bag. So there's four bags. One bag is one serving. Again, have a little bit in my mouth, I'll drink water. So I got one of those. I'll tell you, it's a junk food haul. I seen these at checkout, and Eli likes gum, even though I try not to let them chew it too often. Again, another method of trying to drink water is chewing gum with a flavor that you like. Blue raspberry, green apple, watermelon, Kool-Aid sour gum. Have y'all seen that before? So I got one of those. We'll try it out. And I've not really been buying chips here because we have a lot of popcorn that needs to get ate up. I'm trying to eat out of the pantry as much as I can. There's times when we go out, like yesterday, that Kenny and I will take date day and we'll eat out uh, this evening which you will have hear, heard about last night, not happened yet as of this recording, but we're going to meet with Eli. By the time you see it, we will have done done it. So Kenny said, don't worry about cooking. We can just grab a sandwich or might grab a little Caesar's pizza. That's the way our life is. That's why I don't preach to others how to live their life because we live our life based on what we're doing that day. But bought these when I was with Eli. Yeah, these weren't with Omi. These were with Eli, I believe. I can say one bag's gone. Yeah, one bag's gone. I bought two bags. I decided to splurge on them. There's six servings in a bag. But I like them with bologna sandwiches, potted meat sandwiches, ham sandwiches. And sometimes you need a break from the popcorn. <laughs> So we're down one bag, but we still have one bag left. Going in 
This whole thing is full of what I've shown you today. I think I bought that at Family Dollar one year. All my little red baskets from the Dollar Tree are full of different things that like drink mixes and onions and ramen noodle soup. I use my baskets for everything. So, am I done? No? <laughs> Got one mat for the cat. You had me at meow. I've got so many cats. I probably should have about, about bought about two or three of them, but they love laying on these. They love scratching on them, so I put them on the porch. They can lay on them, scratch on them for a dollar and a quarter. They can mess them up all they want to. And I don't care. I enjoy watching them. So, and they do grab dirt really well if you just don't have animals and you can leave it at the front door without all the cat hair. These are a good deal. And they're a floor mat by Home Collection. I'm not going to say this haul is a haul that you would want to do to stock your pantry. Maybe your snack bin. I have really been more cautious about what I buy. Uh, I don't buy as many drinks as I did. Hang on just a second and I'll tell you what I'm going to say. Like I was going to say, I really try not to buy a whole lot of sodas right now. Two reasons. Price. They've doubled and tripled in price. What I used to get for a really good deal, it's not such a great deal anymore. Even though it's still cheaper than buying individuals, you know, like at convenience stores and stuff, we're actually trying not to drink as many sodas, to drink more water. Thus, see this picture? It's full of drink mixes. Most of the drink mixes, I'm going to say the majority, are from the Dollar Tree. And in my decluttering, I've been rounding them up and I've been putting them in here. A lot of the Kool-Aid actually probably came from Walmart, but I've got Kool-Aid in here, my apple cider, which I said in another video, I actually use it like to flavor uh, oatmeal. You can flavor muffins with it. You can do a lot of things with apple cider. Eli loves uh, the root beer one. And I'm going to try... Even though I don't use a lot of these, I'm anxious to try the blackberry lemon I found. And it was a great value one. Like I said, not all these came from the Dollar Tree, but the majority did. When I go to the Dollar Tree, I will grab a few of these for Kenny and Eli. Kenny drinks the Coca-Cola Zero. And they've been having them. They're a little over a liter, 1.25 liter. And I, I went and got this out of his trash. He's out. He won't probably have any more of these till I do go back to the Dollar Tree or I can find like two liters because a lot of times in the bottle, they a little bit cheaper. You get more for your money because you're not getting the convenience of individual. And this is one thing too we couldn't help but get into that I bought. Moon Pies. These are the mini Moon Pies. Again, I put them in the microwave. Let the marshmallow blow up. Eat it with a fork. Moon Pies go back to my childhood. Go back to Kenny's childhood. I know one year I went to a general store up on Gay Street in Knoxville and they actually had Moon Pie and RC because Kenny always talked about that. They had it packaged together in cellophane and stuff and I bought him one for his birthday because um, he had talked about it so much. I hope you enjoyed this junk food haul. <laughs> And I do believe I have finally showed everything from the Dollar Tree. You'll see this one first because Easter's coming up. We looked it up. I think it's April 12th. Can I remember when Easter comes up? So, and I did a walkthrough in the video with Omi. I did a walkthrough and showed a lot of the Easter items. I'm not decorating for Easter this year. I'm still on a journey to try to 
get a few other things done because I want to get ready for springtime and to be outside more. And money-wise, too, if I'm not exactly going to enjoy a lot of the items just because I'm not in that time of life. I would have been in that time of life at one time. I'm not. But there's so much that's cute. And you will have seen in one of the hauls something I broke down and got because I couldn't pass it up. I don't think I've showed that one yet either. But these were good till are good till January seventeenth of twenty three. But you know life's short. We got to enjoy a few things in life. We gotta have a few laughs. And basically that's what I'm trying to do. Have fun. Try to be as healthy as I can, keep my family as healthy as I can, and enjoy life. And there's, yeah, nothing more important. Better get off here. My husband will be home soon. We'll be going to the school with Eli. And I've got to get my video ready. I'm going to go sit down, finish my coffee. Thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, we'll talk soon. Oh, 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 oh,